Byron Sharp, How Brands Grow, What Marketers Don't Know. In this captivating summary of How Brands Grow, What Marketers Don't Know by Byron Sharp, explore the long-held beliefs and practices in marketing that lack proper empirical foundations. Delve into marketing science and its significance in determining the actual causes and effects of marketing strategies. This summary will highlight key concepts such as the double jeopardy law, the impact of customer acquisition versus retention, the role of light and heavy buyers, the importance of mental and physical availability, and the limitations of differentiation. Myth of the Switchers The belief that brands need equal numbers of loyal and switching customers for success is a myth in marketing. The double jeopardy law proves that smaller brands have fewer customers and less loyalty. Colgate's marketing strategy is not the cause of its smaller loyal customer base compared to Crest, but simply a result of its smaller market share. Marketing practice should rely on marketing science to reveal actual causes and effects. The power of acquiring new customers. Companies looking to grow their brand should focus on acquiring new customers, as retaining existing customers is not as impactful as previously believed. The growth of a brand is often attributed to the number of customers it has. However, it's essential to understand that a customer base grows in two ways, acquiring new customers and retaining existing ones. Despite the established maxim that retaining customers has a more significant impact on a company's growth, new research proves otherwise. While it's true that companies should strive to keep their customers, the impact of retention on a company's growth is overemphasized. Research conducted on this concept was based solely on a thought experiment, presenting inaccurate evidence in a misleading way. In contrast to retaining existing customers, acquiring new customers is crucial to brand growth. The defection rate of a company's customers is determined by its size, making it challenging to control. Brand loyalty depends on market share, meaning the market leader will have the lowest defection rate, while the smallest company will have the highest. Therefore, companies should focus their efforts on acquiring new customers rather than retaining existing ones, as the latter is out of their control. For example, a study of the defection rate of Australian banks showed that CBA, Australia's most significant bank, with a 32% market share, had a rate of just 3.4%. In contrast, Adelaide Bank, the smallest bank included in the study, with its 0.8% market share, had a much higher defection rate of 8%. Acquiring new customers is the most effective way for companies to grow their brand, and any company looking to expand should focus on building their customer base. The Myth of Heavy Buyers Most brands believe that 80% of sales come from 20% of their customers, but research suggests that the ratio is closer to 60 twentieths. This means that light buyers contribute up to 50% of sales, and marketers should focus on targeting them as well as the heavy buyers. The truth about brand loyalty. Many brands aim to build a strong relationship with customers to increase loyalty. However, a famous study on consumer preferences revealed that branding only plays a minimal role. The study found that customers' emotional connection with brands is much weaker than assumed. People's beliefs are inconsistent, and most consumers don't care much about the brands they buy. In reality, their loyalty lies with the product and not the brand. Brand Distinction Marketers should aim to distinguish a brand in the marketplace by making it more visible and investing distinctive characteristics to it instead of differentiating it from others. Distinctive logos and colors help brands stand out more than offering different products in the crowded market. For instance, fast food chains like McDonald's and KFC, while selling different food products, still compete in the same crowded sector, making it essential to make the brand more distinguishable in the marketplace by using recognizable logos, colors, and other means that differentiate from competitors. The Science Behind Advertising Success the main goal of advertising is to influence what individuals buy and encourage them to form positive brand associations. By constructing and constantly renewing memory structures, advertisers aim to trigger happy memories in consumers, 
resulting in an increased likelihood of purchasing a specific product. Additionally, advertisements primarily target light buyers, who are swayed by various factors, including brand advertising, while heavy buyers stick to their preferred brands regardless. Advertisers must continue to evolve their messaging to keep pace with changing times and ensure continuous relevancy. The downside of sales. Price promotions can be misleading, as brands must carefully consider long-term effects and calculate reduced prices based on profit margins. Have you ever wondered why brands use on sale signs? It turns out that such promotions tend to result in a short-term spike in sales, attracting non-frequent buyers who switch between brands and buy whichever has the cheapest products. However, a spike in sales does not necessarily lead to higher profits since such promotions decrease profit margins. For brands to make a profit on sale items, they have to compute the price reduction based on a product's contribution margin, which is the revenue the product must generate to cover its costs. Moreover, prolonged sales can negatively impact a brand's revenue. Customers have a reference price for a given product, and when a brand sells its products at a constant reduced price, the reference price in the minds of customers decreases. This means that customers become unwilling to purchase a product at full price after getting used to the discounted price. To prevent fluctuating profits, brands need to maintain profit margins even during sales. If they fail to do so, sales promotions can lead to bankruptcy. In summary, price promotions can be misleading, and brands must carefully calculate reduced prices based on profit margins while considering long-term effects. Attracting new customers made easier. The key to getting more customers is to make your brand more available to them, both mentally and physically. With people being exposed to hundreds of advertisements daily, becoming easier to buy is essential. Mental availability is the probability of consumers thinking about your brand when making a purchase, while physical availability involves ensuring your brand is easily accessible. Brands that employ these two aspects will greatly increase their number of customers. As we wrap up the journey through the critical insights offered by How Brands Grow, it is evident that marketers need to be grounded in marketing science to ensure effectiveness. The summary elucidates the importance of brand size and customer loyalty, the necessity of acquiring new customers over retaining existing ones, the significant contribution of light buyers, and the power of brand visibility. The effectiveness of advertising on light buyers and the need to establish mental and physical availability are also key takeaways from the book. By understanding the nuances of these concepts and their relevance to developing successful marketing strategies, readers can better appreciate the holistic message of How Brands Grow by Byron Sharp.